everybody. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Hope you continue to have a wonderful day. And thanks for stopping by Dancing Critter Acres. My name's Dean. If you're new to this channel, do me a favor. Check out my other videos. See if the content that I post is something that you're looking for. With that being said, I'd greatly appreciate it then if you'd go ahead and tap that subscribe button, ring the notification bell, give me a thumbs up on the videos that you like, and share those videos with friends, family, coworkers, anybody that you know that might be interested in it. Leave a comment, okay? I, I will get back with you. I do respond to my comments. It might take me a little bit, but hey, I do respond to you, to the comments, guys. Current subscribers, guys, many thanks. I greatly appreciate you, each and every one of you. It means a lot to me to uh, get the feedback from you guys. Uh, it's all just, it's all good. It, it really is. I, I truly appreciate you guys. This video is... Uh, Kind of based off of uh, my last video on uh, chicken versus quail, okay? I did a comparison in that video of the benefits of raising chicken versus quail and just kind of touched some topics and it got me thinking that, hey, you know what? I should do a nutritional facts or nutritional info on eggs and the meat of both, okay? So I'll do the eggs. Now, keep in mind, this is based on a 100 gram raw egg, okay? Your average chicken egg weighs about 50 grams, so it'll be two chicken eggs. Your average quail egg, that little bitty quail egg, is about nine grams. So, we'll say it'll be 10 quail eggs versus two chicken eggs or... I guess you could break it down even further and go five quail eggs to one chicken egg, which I guess a serving would then be five quail eggs to one chicken egg. And for baked goods, the same would hold true then. I had always been told three quail eggs to a serving, one chicken egg. Uh, for baking, one chicken egg, eight quail eggs. But, uh, <coughs> excuse me, the data kind of claims otherwise. So the first one up on the eggs, the first numbers I give will always be the chickens, okay? The second set of numbers, obviously, will be the quail. In chickens, they're in water is 76.15 grams, okay? Now in the quail eggs, it's 74.35 grams. Energy, 143 K cow to 158 K cow. Protein, 12.56 grams, 13.05 grams. Total fats, 9.51 grams, 11.9, or 09, sorry, 11.09 grams. Now, the yolk in a quail egg, and that's where your fats and your cholesterol and other things are is in the yolk, is higher ratio than the white in the quail egg versus compared to a chicken egg. Carbs. 0.72 grams in the chicken, 0.41 in quail. Sugars. 0.37 grams, 0.4 grams. Calcium. 56 milligrams, 64 milligrams. Iron, 1.75 milligrams, 3.65 milligrams in the, quail, in the quail eggs. Magnesiums, they're pretty close in the magnesium. 12 milligrams, 13 milligrams. Phosphorus, 198 milligrams, 226 milligrams. Sodium, another one they're really close in. 142 milligrams, 141 milligrams. Potassium, they're dead even. 138 milligrams for both, for the ratio. Iron, they're pretty close in that, or sorry, zinc. They're pretty close in the zinc too. 1.29 milligrams for chicken. 1.47 milligrams in the quail eggs. 
Selenium, three point, sorry, 30.7 milligrams. Oh, sorry, UG, UG. And I'm not sure what that means. Is that ultragram or what? Somebody that knows, there's, there'll be a couple others. So leave them in the comment and let me know, okay? It's 30.7 UG compared to 32 UG in selenium. Vitamin A, 160 UG, 156 UG. Vitamin B12, 0.89 UG to 100, or sorry, <laughs> 1.58 UG. Chlorine, which I never thought of this, 293.8 milligrams in chicken egg, 263.4 milligrams. And cholesterol, here again, because the yolk difference, yolk to white ratio, 372 milligrams of cholesterol in chicken egg, 844 milligrams in the quail egg. Uh, which, you know, roughly when you start breaking that down mathematically, they come out about the same. Uh, and it doesn't tell, this didn't tell me whether or not it was the good cholesterol in the quail eggs, bad cholesterol in the chicken eggs, which, whichever one it was. So, okay, we're off to meat info. Now, the website that I got this from did one quail, average weight of 92 grams. And then they took a chicken breast, uncooked, raw, diced chicken breast, 140 grams. So there is quite a bit of a, a difference, you know, 48 grams worth of weight difference here. But the quails will be the first number that I, I, I say, and then chicken breast will be the next number. So calories, 123 calories in quail, 231 in the chicken. Protein, 20 grams of protein, 43.4 in total fats, 42, or sorry, 4.2 grams, 5.0 grams. Okay, here's another one. IU, is that intravenous unit? Because uh, that's the only way I've ever heard of an IU being referred to, and that was for injecting medication into animals. Vitamin A. 52.4 IU, 29.4 IU. This is kind of a neat thing. Wouldn't think I'd find this in poultry. Vitamin C, 6.6 .6 milligrams of vitamin C in quail, none in chicken. Omegas, three. 46 milligrams, 98 milligrams in the chicken. Omega-6, 856 milligrams, 826 milligrams. Calcium, 12 milligrams, 21 milligrams. Iron, 4.1 milligrams in quail, 1.5 milligrams in chicken. So, you know, the quail eggs are, are, I think, was just a little higher in iron. And the chick, or the quail itself, the, the flesh of the quail, is a little higher in iron. So, if you need to increase your iron a little bit, hey, there's a couple alternatives right there. Uh, or you can eat... Liver, you know, uh, if you like liver. Magnesium, 23 milligrams, 40.6 milligrams in chicken. Phosphorus, 282 milligrams, 319 milligrams. Potassium, 218 milligrams, 358 milligrams in chicken. Sodium, this kind of floored me. I kind of figured they'd be about the same. Sodium in quail is 46.9 milligrams in 
a 92 gram serving and a 140 gram serving of chicken breast, it's 104 milligrams. Now that's raw, uncooked, which obviously nobody's going to eat that away. But that was kind of interesting. Zinc, 2.5 milligrams, 1.4 milligrams. Copper, 0.5 milligrams to 1.1 1 .1 milligram. Selenium, this is the third and final one that I need an answer, or uh, if somebody can tell me what it actually means. It's MCG. Is that a microgram? And if so, what is a microgram? Selenium, 16 mi micrograms compared to 38.6 micrograms. Last but least, cholesterol, 64.4 milligrams to 119 milligrams. So I hope this helps out, guys. I really do. Uh, I enjoyed doing the research and learning some new stuff. So thank you, guys. Uh, and, uh, you know, uh, I, I'm sure you can see the, my breath every once in a while in the video. It's cold out here in my shop. It's like 15, 16 degrees. And uh, so I'm going to go, guys. I'm going to sign off because I'm cold. Uh, and, you know, as always, guys, I hope you're having a wonderful day. I hope you continue to have a wonderful day. You guys take care of yourselves. Best wishes to each and every one of you. Look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. This is Dean from Dancing Critter Acres signing off. Bye, everybody.